What's up guys, it's Town Nick here and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. In the last episode we started chapter eight and we now are inside the Thousand Year Door. And uh we got through quite a bit. Um and here's where we last left off, so let's go ahead and start going through these things. I don't really know the correct way to get through this area right here. But I'm just going to use Vivian and uh, get through by vanishing like that, or Veil, whatever it's called. Even though it is a slow process, I don't really know the correct way to do it because I tried doing it like jumping over and stuff, but that didn't seem to work, so I just kind of gave up and, ah, oh, come on kind of just gave up and tried Vivian's way. Cause watch, if I try to jump over like, oh wow, okay, I'm just, wow. <laughs> Bad example, I guess. I guess I wasn't jumping, I guess, early enough or late enough. Or I was jumping too late or too early. And really? Okay, Shade Fist actually doesn't work here, which is really surprising. Alright, let me take out this guy. Uh, I should probably heal, so... Actually, I don't even know what to do, because then Vivian won't be able to attack. I mean, we could use Sweet Feast, which is basically an upgrade of Sweet Treat. Uh, I don't really. Know. I think I should just destroy him for now. Especially since Vivian can't attack this guy for some reason. All right, let me go turn down my game audio. For some reason, it sounds a bit too loud. All right, I think that sounds better. All right, hopefully I get the timing of this right. All right, go. Really? Really? Okay, game. I see you. There we go. Alright, so this, we gotta go like... That. In order to dodge those, and then... Okay, I know how to do this, but I just need to... Get a good start. There we go. Wait, can I even jump over those? Or no? I think I can, but like... I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I should just do Vivian's way again. Oh, I can jump over, okay. There we go. That works out. Alright, uh, hopefully there's a heal block somewhere nearby, cause I'm kinda low on HP. And I won't be leveling up soon, but then again, I do have full star power, so I probably will be able to, uh, I'll be able to, uh, use Sweet Feast or Sweet Treat, so it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, we got this blue shy, or dry bones with red eyes. Alright, none shall pass by, let those who would disturb her sleep fall into the depths of endless darkness. Alright, so just like in uh, Hooktail Castle, we got a bunch of these dry bones here, and we have to find the key, I guess. May the intruder never find the key to this door. Alright, I guess we have to attack the purple guy. I think he has the key. Oh, now he's going back, really? He's going back and forth, or where? Oh wait, he's going in circles. Where is he? Can't even tell. Alright, seriously? Am I supposed to like, sneak attack him or something? Cause like, dry bones keep coming... everywhere. Or am I supposed to like, do this?
Where'd the purple dry bones go? Oh, he's over there. Like, am I supposed to find the key or am I supposed to kill this purple dry bones? Why can't I kill him? There we go. Took me a while. Alright, can't flee this fight. Alright, let's uh... Let's go with multi-bounce. Let's do the tactic that I like to do. Multi-bounce and... Uh, fiery veal, I think it's called. Something like that. Alright, so looks like the purple or blue, whatever it is. Purple dry bones, blue dry bones, whatever it is. Um, it seems like it has the same amount of defense, but maybe different, uh, HP, probably. Alright, so, surprisingly, that didn't take out anyone. I'll probably go with, the uh, Earth Tremor next. But I'm pretty sure the fire might kill the normal dry bones. Wow, it doesn't even do any damage to me. That's pretty funny. I don't get why. Oh, okay, that guy hit me somehow. Did some damage. Okay, so those four guys are out now. So I don't think I'm going to use my uh, Earth Chamber anymore. And he should be dead with a Shade Fist if I can hit. Nice. That should kill him. Right? Nope. Okay. I guess not. And good. He missed from the fog. Alright. Let's hopefully finish him off. Okay. And I missed. Still got that stylish point, but still missed. And Vivian missed too. And he missed too. That was basically a waste of a turn. Alright, the fire killed him. And nice, we got 43 experience. So we're actually now pretty close to uh, leveling up. And with that we get the key. So I think after that like mini boss type of thing, we'll definitely get a heal block. Hopefully. Maybe a healing item. Ooh, okay, we got an Ultra Shroom. What should I get rid of to do that? I'm gonna get rid of Power Punch. Oh come on. Hate these bullet bill launchers. I really do. Alright, what I'm gonna do is actually use the uh, Sweet Beast now. And then uh, Vivian will kill out the... Uh, Dang it, I can't even, like, snap this back. Like, my... I really do hate this glass controller. Alright, that was a really bad sweet feast. There we go. Take him out. Get one experience. But yeah, we are pretty close to leveling up, so... Don't think we'll have that big of a problem. But I really do hate these bullet bill launchers. I think this is the last one though. Hopefully it is. But we'll see. I really do hope that this is the last one. And of course I get hit. Like, they do four damage. That's a lot. But they don't give you any experience. It's so annoying. It's like if a Pokemon does explosion to you or self-destruct. I forget what it's called. I think it's explosion. Um, but basically, they do that. And you get no experience from defeating them. I just don't get it. I mean, I think I have to, I'm going to have to use it. I'm going to have to use either the Ultra Shroom or the Wham Bam. 
which I don't really want to use, but I'm kind of forced to. Alright, let's take out the first cannon here. Hopefully I'll take it out. No? Okay. Never mind then. And not even the burn takes it out. Alright, let's go with the multi-bounce, I guess. Really, not even the multi-bounce kills the bullet bills. Wow. Okay, game. Gonna have to go with Fiery Jinx then. That should take... What? Oh, okay, it missed. And so do those bullet bills. And now they launch more. Alright, does that fire take it out? Nope. Great. Alright, power smash on this guy. I just want to take out at least one of them. And of course I miss. Let's try Fiery Jinx. Alright, there we go. Finally. What? Well, how did... Are you kidding me right now? How did it summon two of them? It's so... That's such a ripoff. I, I can't believe this. And the... The multi-bounce doesn't even kill these guys. They have 3 HP. Then I guess I have to use... Power Smash and Fiery Jinx again. Alright, so there goes the cannon. And here comes the mist again. I swear, if I miss this, uh... If I miss this Fiery Jinx again... I'm gonna be kind of upset. Alright, there we go. So I took those guys out, but... We're not doing so good. But we do need nine more star points to level up, so... We're not in that bad of a predicament. But we are at 2 FP. And we, uh... Mario has 13 HP. I'm gonna flee this battle right here because... Vivian can't attack these guys. For some reason. And I'm pretty sure Fiery Jinx will do the same thing. So I'm gonna avoid those guys. And of course we have another bullet bill launcher. Great. And okay, yeah, that makes total sense. He definitely hit me. I mean it hit my toe when I was jumping. Alright. This is really annoying. Oh, please give me that. Oh my god, again? Alright, you know what? I'm not going to risk anything. So I'm going to use a uh, sweet treat. And hopefully this will uh, give me Mario's HP, please. Thank you. Alright, 3 HP. That's not bad. I'll take that. I mean, I wish you could change, like, in the beginning of battle who goes in front but it's only when you start the battles when you can choose the positioning all right we got another star point I really just wanna get through here okay there we go I think I went like right in the middle which worked out perfectly but I'm really annoyed that that does no damage. The jumping does no damage. And of course, why do we have the mist? Why is the mist here again? This is the, I think, fourth time. Oh my god. And of course, I missed both attacks. Alright, well. Gonna have to use another power smash. Alright, I'm gonna have Vivian do the, um, fiery j Oh my god, the mist again? Are you kidding me? I can't even use fiery jinx, too. I can't switch positions, either. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to use this, then. 
Gonna have to use a whack a bump. I mean, I had no other option, so. I was kind of screwed. Okay, well, actually, the mist helped. I feel like you have, like, a. Oh, okay, apparently, I can hammer these guys. And I missed, of course. <sighs> I'm really annoyed with, by this. Having basically my FP wasted from the mist. I wonder what the percentage, the percentage of the miss, like affecting you, like what's your hit rate when the mist is happening? Like it's got to be like something like 20%, which is ridiculous. All right, so that should take out the bullets. Okay. I'm gonna have to switch positions. Let's go. Shade Fist, take out the bullet. Yeah, I didn't actually know they can actually hammer the bullets, but apparently, if they're low to the ground, you can actually do that. Yeah, but I was actually. I didn't want to risk it, but I had to use the Wacka Bump because you never know if he's gonna miss or not from the mist. Alright, with that, I'll probably increase HP. But yeah, I really... That really sucks, though. Alright, nice. We got A-list, so now our crowd's even bigger. We'll have a new uh, battle area, I guess you could say. But yeah, that, the whack -a bump is really good, though. It's really sad that we had to waste it on a little enemy. But maybe we'll get lucky and get the, uh, never mind. I was going to say if we could get a uh, whack a bump from that, but we got a jam and jelly, which isn't that bad. Also, I probably should have done, I think there's like a quest where you could increase your inventory by a lot like I think double your inventory which I didn't do I don't know why but probably would have been a smart decision to do so alright uh, I think I'm supposed to go wherever the fire is lit hopefully alright so fire is not lit there so up here, yep. So yeah, this area right here is like basically the Lost Woods. We have to like find your way out by going in a certain area, I guess, or like certain direction. Alright, so we're going back up again. I think this is the way you're supposed to do it. Like you have to check the torches. Alright, going back down. Alright, down or up? Looks like up. I don't really know how long this is. But I guess we'll figure it out sooner or later. Or maybe I'm doing this entire thing wrong. Or maybe not. There we go. Got a loading screen. There we go. Alright, so I guess I wasn't wrong. I was doing it the right way. Alright. We get out of a one strange room just to find another. It's so big, it's almost like an underground city. What is this place? Doesn't even tell you. And okay, we got chain chomps here. Gotta watch out for those guys. They're pretty powerful. All right, so there's a heal block right there. We don't even need it though, do I? No, not yet. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and save, and then we're gonna enter the 
building. And of course, I get hit. Alright, so they're pretty powerful. They do 5 damage, which is pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead and smash him with a power smash. Get some stylish points, even though we don't need it. And wow, Vivian, really? Again? No damage? Maybe I should switch out for Bobbery now. Alright, so we took out one of them. Let's go have Vivian switch out. Or not a... I did not mean to click that. And man, I'm getting really beaten up here. Alright, switch out for Bobbery. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Now, I'm, now I need the healing block. Which really sucks. Alright, so now we took him out. And like, the stupid thing also is I have to fight another chain chomp basically to get that heal block. I got super stream. I don't really need that though. I mean, I guess it could be helpful, but... Actually, I probably should have took it and then used it. And then... Or switch it out for something, use it, and then, uh... Just take the other thing back. And, wow, okay, there's three of them. This is not good. Alright, I'm just gonna go with a bunch of powerful attacks. Alright, so we're gonna go with that. Wow, only three damage to each of them? Okay, uh, and then we're gonna go with Earth Tremor. Alright, need to concentrate for this one. Oh, come on. Okay, that did do da I thought it didn't do any, any damage for a second. But it did do some damage. Alright, Bobbery's about to die too, which really sucks. Alright, nice. Killed them all three. And that gave us 18 star points. Alright, so that worked out pretty well. Now we can go heal ourselves. And I'm gonna go ahead and save again. But yeah, in order to enter this area right here, we need to, uh... Do a couple things. We have to go through a pipe. I think I have to go through these chain chomp pipes. But I forget how to. I think we have to put Bobbery in, yeah. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Pretty easy. Alright, hit the switch. And we got a boat. Okay. I think that's how we get to the other pipe, and then the other pipe will lead us to the real entrance. But I think we're actually going to have a boss fight here because if I remember correctly we're actually gonna fight against the uh, the new shadow sisters which are I mean I guess they're not really sisters anymore but you got Beldum uh, the other girl and then you have Dupless now because now that we have Vivian Alright, so we got that one now. But there's actually... Alright, this is kind of confusing. We got another room over to the left of us. And then we also have the boat, which I thought was... Oh, okay, the boat leads you to the area. That makes sense now. So we got one boat to go there. And one boat to come back. We're also to the port and stuff. Let me just check this door first, actually. 
I'm guessing there's like some key that we have to find in that area. Oh god, I, I don't want to fight these guys. I actually forget what we do. I'm guessing there is a locked door over there. And that the way to find the key is through this area. So yeah, that might take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. So thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door right here on Town Nick. Bye.